Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Cane Pole Willie, and we're back with the fourth and final video of the How to Make a Cane Pole series. Previously, we cut down the pole, we trimmed off the branches, we straightened everything up, and on this video, we're about to apply a thin coat of spar urethane, seal everything in, and make this pole last for years and years to come. I'm about to roll the intro, and then we're about to get into it. right here is all about preservation. We spent all these nights working on this pole, getting it to where it is right now. The heat treating does a lot to preserve the pole. It bakes a lot of the natural oils right back into the pole and seals it in. But this thin layer of spar urethane is really going to take it to the next level and give the bamboo what it needs to last for a long time. Being outdoors, fishing all summer, your cane pole is bound to take a beating from direct sunlight and UV rays breaking it down over time, making it brittle, to its different exposures to moisture content from getting wet, drying out multiple times throughout a day. And not to mention these things are 12 to 14 foot. You're going to be banging it around trying to get to where you're going and also bending it over, catching fish, having a big catfish on there, yanking it all around. This pole is bound to take a beating. That's why it's so important for us to seal it all in, protect it from nicks and scratches. And the main thing is to keep it from getting cracked. If it splits, that's an opening for moisture and mildew and mold to grow. And also it just creates a weak point. And that's basically the downfall of any pole is a weak point because soon it's gonna crack and you're gonna be out of pole and everything's just gonna be scrapped. An untreated pole will catch fish just fine. This is just kind of an extra step to add a little bit of longevity to our pole. I'm about to show you all the supplies. We're gonna apply just a thin coat, maybe a couple coats, we'll see how it goes on. But this is it y'all, we're gonna seal it up and the cane pole is gonna be good to go. Here's our supplies. First I got a rag, I'm just gonna get this damp and give everything a nice wiping over before we start just to make sure there's no dirt or grime. Next, we got our spar urethane. I went with the Helmsman. They have this at my local Lowe's. And spar urethane seems to be the best bet. It has a good amount of flex to it and offers all the protection we need from sunlight, rain and moisture, and temperature changes. I went with the high gloss just to give it that sheen and pop. I think it should get it looking good. Lastly, just got a small brush here. Just have that one lying around and that's all we need. I got it placed on my two benches here and I've got a little foam pad on this inner node and on this inner node. And we're going to skip those two on the first coat and then come back, move it down and finish up and coat those just so there's no area with the wet spar urethane potentially globbing up right there and just give it a nice cleaner coat. But we're gonna give it a nice once over and see how things turn out. I was really being subtle with the application and just building it up over two layers. And this first layer right here, I just kept it spinning the whole time with my right hand there and just evenly coating it all the way around the important part to pay attention to is along those nodes where it's got different ridges and little indents where the branches grow out. Really make sure you're filling those spots and there's no open areas for water to seep in. I was constantly going back and rebrushing areas I had just brushed just to make sure none of the spar urethane had grouped up or had a potential to drip. There's another product, a natural product, Yurishi from Japan that the bamboo rod makers over there use I want to try out but you got to use it during a certain humidity and during warmer temperatures so at some point we'll try that but spar urethane did a great job on this one all right y'all we did it 
We got us a complete finished cane pole. All that work. And we chose it, we cut it down, trimmed the branches, straightened it out, and the lacquer is dried and it's good to go. Man, it turned out super shiny. I really like this gloss finish and it's feeling sturdy. Man, I can't wait to fish with this thing. That's gonna be a wrap on the how to make a cane pole videos. Hopefully these videos helped out somebody and gave you some information on how to make a cane pole, but man, this is just a passion of mine and been doing it for a couple years now, so I figured it was time to share and kind of put the information out there, but we're just gonna keep at it. Man, I'm really enjoying fishing with the cane pole and just building each year. Once again, appreciate you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.